in this video i will talk about ripple ripple factor and i will find a general equation of ripple factor and in my next video i will show you how to calculate the ripple factor for half wave and full wave rectifier circuit so what is ripple ripple is one kind of noise in the waveform ripple is periodic pulsation in dc output when it is obtained from ac source see ripple is a periodic pulsation like an ac quantity in the dc output and we will get this ripple when we obtain the dc output from the ac source the objective of using a rectifier circuit is to convert the ac quantity into a dc quantity if we get a pure dc voltage it will maintain a constant voltage difference across two terminal therefore with respect to time we will get a straight line like this and as the value of dc voltage is constant therefore this voltage or this straight line will be parallel to the horizontal or this time axis now look at the output of the rectifier this is the output or load current of the full wave rectifier circuit and this is the output or load current of half wave rectifier circuit the output of a half wave and full wave rectifier circuit contains dc component as well as ac component that's why this is known as pulsating dc quantity now the ac component represents the amount of ripple in this waveform which prevents the load current or output current to give a constant load current of this waveform as the ac component of this pulsating dc prevents the output or load current to supply a constant current in the load resistor of this waveform therefore this ac component is always undesirable in a rectifier output and due to this ac component we will get the pulsation in the rectifier output see in my first video about the rectifier circuit i have shown you that we can get pure dc waveform like this from this rectified output by using filter circuit and voltage regulator circuit that means we have dc component here but due to the ac component we have this pulsation see it looks like an ac voltage wh which hides the dc quantity inside it so the ripple is the noise or periodic pulsation in the dc output when it is obtained from the ac source so what is ripple factor ripple factor measures the amount of ac component in the rectifier output see this is our rectifier output which contains both the dc and ac component the ripple factor will measure the amount of ac component presents in this rectifier output in other words we can say ripple factor measures the purity of dc output of the rectifier see if we get a pure dc waveform like this and there will be no pulsation in this pure dc voltage therefore the ripple factor in ideal case is always one because there will be no ac component in the pure dc voltage so how do we express ripple factor mathematically ripple factor is expressed with gamma gamma is equal to rms value of ac component in pulsating dc output divided by dc component in the pulsating dc output now look at the output or load current waveform of the full wave or half wave rectifier circuit you will see our load current will be a pulsating dc quantity which will contain dc as well as 
AC component. Now to calculate the ripple factor, I have to calculate the RMS value of the AC component that presents in the pulsating DC output. So I will denote that current as I A C. This IAC is the RMS value of the AC component presents in the pulsating DC output. And to calculate the ripple factor, I have to calculate the DC component in the pulsating output. See, the pulsating DC contains both DC and AC quantity. To calculate the ripple factor, I have to calculate the DC amount or DC component of this pulsating DC output. So, I will denote that DC value or the DC quantity of the pulsating output or the rectifier output with ID. See, so our ripple factor gamma is equal to RMS value of AC component in the pulsating DC divided by the DC component in the pulsating DC. Now look at the output of the rectifier circuit. Here the rectifier output will contain AC as well as a DC component. Therefore, it will be termed as pulsating DC. Let's say I express the DC quantity I D C it is the DC component in the rectified or pulsating DC output So this IDC is the amount of DC component that presents in the pulsating DC and see it will also contain the AC component. Let's say I denote the RMS value of that AC component IAC. It is the RMS value of AC component in rectified or pulsating DC output IS is the RMS value of AC component in the rectified or pulsating DC output IAC will indicate the RMS value of the AC component presents in this rectified or pulsating DC output in case of full wave rectifier or the RMS value of the AC component that presents in the output of the half wave rectifier. Now IRMS. This IRMS will indicate the RMS value of total output or load current. What is this IRMS? See, our output is a pulsating DC output which contains both AC and DC component. This IRMS value will be the RMS value of the rectifier output which contains AC as well as DC component. That's why I have used this word total output or load current. Now look at the waveform of the rectifier output. Here we will take omega t in x axis. Therefore, I can write our instantaneous total output current will be the sum of instantaneous AC current and fixed DC current. We will express instantaneous total output current with small i and instantaneous uh, instantaneous AC current instantaneous AC current that means the time varying current that presents in the pulsating DC output and this DC current is the DC current that presents in the rectified output so I will express them with high AC and DC component is a fixed current so I will express this with IDC from which I can write instantaneous AC current in the rectified output will be equal to instantaneous total output current minus DC component of 
current IDC capital IDC IAC equal to small i minus capital IDC now I will derive the general equation of ripple factor for that I will consider an alternating waveform with twice phi time period in which an AC component IAC is presented so RMS value of AC current in the pulsating DC output I have expressed that as IAC capital IAC it will be equal to root over integration of 0 to twice phi i square d omega t divided by total time period i s square d omega t and it, it is integrated within 0 to twice phi interval divided by twice phi see the ac component in the rectifier output is equal to the total instantaneous total output current minus dc current so i can write it like this 1 by twice phi integration of 0 to twice phi total instantaneous current minus dc current whole square d omega t now if i expand this square i will get 1 by twice phi integration of 0 to twice phi i square minus 2i into i dc plus i dc square d omega t i have used this formula a minus b whole square equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square now if I integrate them individually I will get root over 1 by twice phi integration of 0 to twice phi i square d omega t minus 1 by twice phi integration of 0 to twice phi 2i into i dc d omega t plus 1 by twice phi integration of 0 to twice phi i dc square d omega t see the i dc is the constant dc current that means this i dc and this 2 will be a constant quantity and this i dc square will be a constant number therefore i can take the constants outside of the integration sign so i can write the second and third terms like this minus 2 i dc into 1 by twice phi integration of 0 to twice phi i d omega t plus see if i take the i d c square out of this integration sign here i will get integration of 0 to twice phi d omega t so i so if i integrate it i will get omega t with upper limit twice phi lower limit 0 now what is this i r m s square see if i have an ac quantity with twice phi period I, I can calculate the RMS value of that quantity using this formula root over 1 by twice phi integration of 0 to twice phi i d omega t and I can calculate the DC quantity of that AC i d c equal to 1 by twice phi integration of 0 to twice phi i d omega t see i RMS is the root over 1 by twice phi integration of 0 to twice phi i d omega t so this 1 by twice phi integration of 0 to twice phi i square d omega t will be i r m s square and i can replace this quantity with i d c in the next equation so i will write it like this root over i r m s square minus 2 IDC into IDC minus sorry plus IDC square divided by twice phi and here I will get twice phi minus 0 so this twice phi and this twice phi will get, will get cancelled so I will get root over IRM square minus 2 IDC square plus IDC square so here I will get 
RMS value of AC component in the pulsating DC I AC equal to root over I RMS square minus I DC square now I have to calculate the general equation of gamma gamma is equal to RMS value of AC component in the rectified output divided by the DC value or DC component in the rectified output see here IAC is equal to root over I RMS square minus I DC square divided by I D if I take this I D C inside the root over I will get I D C square I R M S square minus I D C square from which I can calculate general equation of ripple factor equal to I R M S divided by I D C whole square minus 1 and uh, this is the general equation of ripple factor ripple factor of any rectified output in which we will have both AC and DC component by using this formula in my next video I will show you the ripple factor of half wave and full wave rectifier circuit